Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company OMG Her Hair. And today I'm gonna to be showcasing their Kinky Straight 360 Lace Wig. This is what it looks like straight out of the box, y'all. That texture looks so good. Now this unit does come with your two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, and a comb in the back. No adjustable straps. Now I went ahead off of camera and I cut off that back lace. But y'all, look at this. It does have the kinky edges in the nape area if you want to glue your unit down in the back and you still want it to look natural. What the front of this hairline is looking like. I feel like it looks really good, but I need to work on cutting off this lace. The lace was sitting over my ear and I like for my lace to sit above my ear. And you can see a little bit of my edges out and just look at when I cut it off, how well it is looking like it is going to blend in. You can rock your unit glueless. However, this is a bit big on me. So I'm going to be using my bowl hold liquid gold. I'm just gonna spread that on my skin. And then I'm just going to place the lace on top. Now I had to work in sections because the lace was big on me. So I noticed that some areas wanted to ripple up and I didn't need that happening. So I'm just gonna work in sections and then use my blow dryer to speed up the drying process. Now for me, a little bit of this Boho Liquid Gold goes a long way, especially because I don't like to put a lot on because I like to remove my units at night. I don't like to sleep in my wigs. So I feel like this melted down really well into my skin. I'm not mad at it at all, but I need to see exactly how I want to rock this hair. Now, before I do any type of styling, I wanna show you guys what that parting space looks like. This unit does come with bleach knots. It also comes with that clean hairline. So you have a lot of versatility going on with this unit. You don't have to just rock it one way. and separated the hair so that I can work on straightening this unit out. And y'all, this hair was really nice and soft. And I did a few passes, but as you can see, even with one pass, I feel like it looks really good. I noticed a few little tangles at the ends of the hair when I took it out of the package, but that's because it had been sitting. But it does flat iron very well, and you can still see the texture going on. Straightening this unit, I am going to add some of my wax at the top. I was unsure if I was gonna add a hot comb up there, but I do have some flyaways going on and I need them to lay down. So I'm gonna remove my elastic band so I can work on the front of this hairline. My issue with the front of this hairline was just on the side, there's so much hair clustered together. As I knew I was rocking this as a middle part, I wasn't too concerned, but if I wanted to rock it in another style, I feel like it just looks super unrealistic when it's so thick and clustered like that. So I'm adding a little bit of wax and you guys see I'm being very careful, very, very careful with the way that I'm hot combing this because I do not want to burn myself. But I feel like, I feel like it still looks a little thick, but it's not as harsh. 
Just playing around and seeing what styles that I can achieve with this unit. And I'm going to be doing a quick little half up, half down. It's not going to be super neat, but I wanted to see what it would look like with those kinky edges. And I feel like it looks very realistic. Looks really cute. Obviously I was feeling it. I did notice there were some areas that I need to tend to from some excess lace, but you know I'm gonna fix that right on up. So I'm gonna take that ponytail down and then I'm going to put this as a middle part. Hot comb the top area down and I did want to put some powder behind the hairline area, but I also feel like I need to just tweeze it out a little bit so that the hairline can show a bit more. So this is the final look guys and it all definitely came together i kind of fluffed up the front edges a little bit more but the hair y'all this hair is just so dang on pretty look how thick and full it is i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what it looks like in the back area you guys also seen that this unit doesn't come with an elastic band it doesn't come with an adjustable strap but it has an invisible band to where you can tighten it up so that it doesn't show however this wig was just too big on me so even with me tightening it up it did nothing for me so that i can try to show you guys what it looks like in a ponytail but i did the best i could so you guys could see the kinky edges and how it's plucked out in the nape area you can also see as i'm pulling the string that it does tighten up a little bit but because it's too large on my head it really didn't do much also the string i'm so scared it will break it's very delicate i feel like you have to be really careful with this so i'm not too sure how i feel about that but i think that they did a really good job with plucking out the nape area you can see the string area a little bit but i think you can put some powder back there and it would help to kind of blend everything in make sure you stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts when it comes to this 360 wig Installing this wig today is a very very chill day i don't plan on going anywhere at all so i am relaxing but i did want to install this cutie and i am loving the texture on this unit i love the kinky edges and i also like how the edges are in the back in the nape area however if you have a small head like me make sure that you get a small cap measure your head to see if they even offer that also, I feel like this would have fit better if there were some adjustable straps back there because I could not even pin the bag down. It was flipping and flopping. It was trying to come over my ear part. Like I couldn't even create the look that I wanted to because it's just extremely too big. I had to go in and literally melt the unit down and I am not putting any adhesive in my nape area. That is just a big no for me. I had to work in sections with this unit as far as adding my adhesive on because the lace was a bit too big in the front also. And I noticed like some areas were trying to ripple up. So I had to keep making sure to pull tight because I didn't want that rippling to happen in the lace. But I feel like the lace blended in well to my skin. There are a few areas that I had to go over just like on the side. And I feel like it's because some of the adhesive seeped out. But I had to put like a little bit of a darker powder just to kind of blend in a bit more. Put some powder into the parting space area just to kind of help it open up a little bit and look more scalp like. For the most part, I feel like the parting space area looks really good on this unit. You don't have to part this in the middle. You can definitely rock this as a side part. You could do like a half up, half down. You could do a flip over. It's still going to look good. The texture of this hair is absolutely gorgeous. It felt really soft straight out of the box. I did add my heat to it. And I feel like, you know, it flat ironed really well without taking all of the texture away. You can definitely still see some of the texture at the top area. I tried not to flat iron it too much, but I did have to do a few passes over the hair. I do feel like the ends on this look good. I did not put any serum in this hair because I didn't feel like it was needed. But of course, to maintain any frizziness and flyaways, you definitely want to add your serum in, especially if you are trying to keep a really nice sleek look. But I feel like it looks good especially because like i said i'm not going anywhere today and it's not a lot of frizziness going on there are a few like frizzies going on in the front area where the kinky edges are but i added a little bit of wax and it's looking good 
not too much going on the length on this is 20 inches i feel like it's a little bit longer on me especially when i turn around but i am only 5'2 for reference but i'm not mad at it and i'm also not mad at this density because even though it seems like it's pretty thick it doesn't feel like it's weighing me down at all i don't feel like i'm gonna get super hot with it and the cap part is actually you know comfortable it's just that it's a little bit too big for my head i think they did a really good job with the clean hairline i did go in and kind of pluck out some of the hairs right here and then i used my hot comb to kind of press some of the hairs right over here because i feel like they just looked a bit too thick but i didn't want to press these out because like once you like try to do a certain style i feel like they look good but you can definitely go in on the side and kind of pluck these down a little bit more these are my edges like right here and then i feel like it blends in really well to my hair and then i just kind of hot comb behind the hairline so i don't feel like you're gonna have to go in and do too much with the hairline unless you want to kind of tame those edges down because i knew i was going to wear it as a middle part i didn't worry about the side too much Where shedding and tangles go i'm not really getting any snags at the moment however because of this texture and how full it is i would definitely carry a wide tooth comb if i'm going to be out for the day especially for the nape area if you plan on rocking this in the summertime and you guys know it's going to be hot and maybe it might not be hot everywhere, but in Texas, it's going to be hot. You're going to be sweating. And that's going to get tangled up. So you definitely want to carry a wide tooth comb unless it fits you and you can rock this in a ponytail. And I got a little bit of shedding, but I also did kind of pluck around the hairline area. And then also I cut into the lace on the side by my ear. so It could sit above my ear because a little bit was overlapping. I think this unit is really cute. I wish that it would have fit my head a bit better. Let me know what you guys think about this 360 wig. Like I said, I love that the edges are in the nape area. And to me, when I turned around and I pulled that laser out, I was like, it looks really realistic. And that's a great thing. If you're interested in this one, I am going to make sure to leave a link down below. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>